Hi guys, I am home for the weekend um, for my training with Shadow and learning the commands and stuff and um, I was allowed to go home for the weekend between the two weeks. I still have a week to go. It's going really well. Um, Shadow has bonded to me very well and I'm so excited. I love him so much. And um, it's been really hard because it's a long day. It's 10 to 4 usually and um, an hour for lunch in between. And I uh, take a short nap um, if I have time in between sessions, like, you know, from morning to afternoon. And then when I get back, um, I take like an hour to two hour nap because I'm just so exhausted. And I was actually running a low-grade fever um, on Thursday, and I wasn't feeling very well at all. So, um, but things are going really well, you know? And um, I can actually introduce you to Shadow. Shadow! My lap! And here he is. This is my boy. This is my boy. Yeah. Down. Stay. Good boy. So he's a good boy and I'm going to show you something. This is his treat bag and it goes around my waist. So um, I'm totally going to bring fanny packs back into style. because. <laughs> They gave me this because my pocket, since, you know, I wear children's clothes or really small adult women clothes, um, they gave me, I couldn't fit enough uh, treats in my pocket. So they gave me that because, you know, it was small enough <laughs> and it fit me really well. So I have that and um, he's taken to the house very well. Um, sorry, I have hair in my mouth. Um, we were a bit concerned, you know, with the cat and everything, but Shadow's not afraid of, he just heard me call his name, he's not afraid of cats or he doesn't let them bother him. He's been around them since he was a puppy. He's about just over a year and a half and he's, as you, you could probably tell by, um, when I had him, come up and view the camera by his head. He's a pretty big dog. He's a black lab, purebred black lab, and weighs 75 pounds. And he lays up with me on the couch, and when he stretches out completely, he is about as long as I am. Um, but the cat is more curious than anything, which is the best scenario we wanted. There were three scenarios, and one was she would be really angry and hate him and start swatting at him and stuff like that, or she'd be terribly afraid of him, but um, she is, she's more curious. You know, she'll get close to him, sniff him, and, you know, they're doing okay. You know, everybody likes him because he's so mellow. Um, the people at Needs did a great job in matching um, animals with handlers and um, because my dog is so so mellow and very very gentle and he listens really well um, we started working on picking things up and um, he was able to pick up my cane for me he's able to pick up metal the cane is really hard so in that instance, um, I'll give him like a handful, well not a handful, I'll give him like five or six treats and that's what's called the jackpot because he's doing something that's very difficult. Um, I've been giving him treats around here because I have him off the leash, but he still follows and sits and stays and lays down and stays and you know, all of that and um, he still listens so I've been giving him treats. <clears throat> um, yeah, he's doing really well, and, um, I have one more week of training to do, which is more, um, fine-tuning 
my commands and I have to really study them because, you know, I, I confuse a, a lot of them. Well, not a lot, but, you know, a decent handful. I confuse the commands and I have to remember um, to do certain things because I get very absent-minded. Um, it has been very, very tiring, but the trainer... Um, he was really impressed with all three of us because none of us complained. None of us broke down and cried. You know, we fought through it and we got through it. And, you know, like we, it's because we do what we have to do. And this is very important. Um, one of the clients is a woman um, that has no use of her legs. So she's in a special um, power chair. And needs a lot of help with things and another client is um, and I'm a vet from the army and um, he was riding in a truck and a bomb blew up underneath him while he was in the truck so he spent months and months and months in the hospital I think he said maybe up to five months but for two and a half of those months, um, he was unable to eat or drink. He was on, on IV nutrition and uh, NG tube, you know, the tube that goes through the nose and feeds you that way. And um, he's had about 18 or 19 surgeries. You know, he's a great guy. He's from Mississippi, so he's, he's funny. And... Um, you know, he makes fun of us New Englanders, but, um, you know, I was trained vocal and I took vocal class, um, voice training and all that. So, and we're, um, trained to have good, um, enunciation. And so I don't have that much of an accent. Every now and then it pops out, you know, like it's a combination of a Boston, Worcester, Rhode Island accent. <laughs> But I try to speak as clearly as I can. And um, I'm, I'm sorry, I keep looking away. I'm just, you know, watching the dog because I love watching the dog. And uh, when it's playtime, oh my God, he enjoys just running around in the backyard. I'm very lucky that I do have a fenced-in backyard where I can let him loose and let him do his doggy stuff. And that's so important. Yes, he's a service dog and, you know, he works but he also needs to have his own time and that's very very important um and needs actually supplies us with all the tools we need he they gave us a bag of rawhide bone uh rawhide they gave us um a couple of toys one of the plastic bones and that he loves that a uh, squeaky stuffy which he absolutely loves um, a Kong, which is, I don't have it near me, but it's, um, it, it, it's kind of shaped like a snowman with a little hole on top and a bigger hole on the bottom. And you can put peanut butter around the hole on the bottom and they love that. They love playing with it. And the hole on top is so that they don't get their tongue stuck in there. Um, they gave us all kinds of leashes. Um, they gave us the capes and I have um, like saddlebags that I put on Shadow and he does really well with that. Now, he doesn't like it. He does much better with the vest, but I really want to get him used to using the bag. Um, well, that's about it. Um, I'm going to go back and lie down and let rest with the doggy and um, catch up on the shows I missed during the weekend because internet is very, very intermittent up there. Um, I only use it, like my mom comes and stays with me and helps me around because I have a hard time and I use the wheelchair um, a lot from place to place, but I do walk as much as I can. So um, she brings up her little tiny uh laptop which I love and I want one so much and I get on the internet once or you know like a couple times a week just to answer emails and stuff like that um but that's about it and I'll be back in a week bye